today's lesson we are going to look at trigonometric substitution calculus this is lesson 102 let us start now in this question we need to find the integral of dx over x squared square root of 9 minus x squared now the first thing that we need to do we can rewrite this as 1 over x squared square root of 9 minus x squared dx and then from there we need to generate our equation firstly we look at this expression here we can see that e it's in the form of a squared minus x squared now based on lesson 101 we know that whenever we have this expression we let x to be equals to a sine theta now in this case we need to find the value of a since we can see that a a squared is equals to this number here then it means a squared is equals to 9 and then we take the square of both sides a is equals to 3 therefore our equation is x is equals to 3 sine theta now we are not done as you can see that our function it consists of x squared then it means we need to also find x squared then we we square both sides and then we're going to have 9 sine squared theta now so far we have this equation we need to also find the derivative of this so dx is equals to 3 cos theta d theta now since we have our equations we can go ahead and substitute it's 1 over we say that x squared is equals to 9 sine squared theta square root of 9 minus 9 sine squared theta and then where we see dx we are going to substitute by this three cos theta d theta so we are gonna we are going to work on this equation now this is the same as three cos theta over 9 sine squared theta square root of 9 minus 9 sine squared theta d theta 3 cos theta over 9 sine squared theta and then we take out the common factor which is 9 and then we're going to have 1 minus sine squared theta d theta then we can see that simplifying this we are going to have 1 cos theta over 3 sine squared theta and then simplifying this we are going to have something like this 1 minus sine squared theta d theta and then we are going to have 1 cos theta over 3 sine squared theta square root of 9 is basically 3 and then we are going to have 1 minus sine squared theta is an identity the identity says sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equals to 1 so making cos squared theta the subject of the formula we are going to have this since when we transpose this the sign will change so this is the uh, the first identity this is the second identity from the original one we make sign the subject of the, the subject of the formula we are going to have something like this so this is another identity but in this question we are going to use this one where we say this we can substitute by this
so we have square root of cos squared theta d theta so from here we can actually multiply 3 and this one then we are going to have cos there in this one and then 9 sine squared theta and then we simplify the square root of cos squared theta it's simply cos theta d theta and then in this case this will get rid of this and then we are actually left with 1 over 9 sine squared theta d theta now we can take out the constant as 1 over 9 and then we are left with 1 over sine squared theta d theta from here we need to find an identity of this we know that secant theta is equals to 1 over cos theta cot theta is equals to 1 over tangent theta cosecant theta is equals to 1 over sine theta so cosecant squared theta is equals to 1 over sine squared theta so 1 over sine squared theta is equals to cosecant squared theta so we have 1 over 9 cosecant squared theta d theta the derivative of cotangent theta it's equals to negative cosecant squared theta so it means when you take the integral of this it will bring us to this so the integral of cosecant squared theta is equals to negative cotangent theta plus c we know that from this this is the same as 1 over tan theta plus c and then we basically have negative 1 over 9 tan theta plus c but we don't have to leave it in a trigonometric form we need to plug the algebraic expressions now remember we said x is equals to 3 sine theta now in this case you solve for sine theta sine theta is equals to x over 3 now we need to find the value of tan theta now according to Sokato we know that the expression of sine is opposite of hypotenuse so when we draw a simple sketch and then we consider this angle this will be the opposite side this will be the hypotenuse so looking at this this is the opposite side this is the hypotenuse so we have 3 and x we need to solve for this using Pythagoras theorem we are going to have 
since r squared is equals to x squared plus y squared and then our r in this case is 3 and then let's say x squared plus y squared will be the adjacent side well normally we say this is the x side this is the y side but in this case since we can see that the opposite side is equal to x and I will simply say this is A, stands for adjacent. So we have 9 is equal to x squared plus A squared. Solving for this, which is this side, we are going to transpose this to the other side and then we have A squared is equal to 9 minus x squared. We take the square of both sides, we have A is equal to square root of 9 minus x squared. So this side is square root of 9 minus x squared. Now since sine is x over 3, it means tan theta is equal to x over square root of 9 minus x squared. So from, from this where we see tan, we can substitute by that thing. So we actually have x over square root of 9 minus x squared plus c. We can also rewrite this. Instead of dividing this fraction, we multiply. So it will be negative 1 over 9 multiplied by, we flip the fraction becomes 9 minus x squared over x plus c. So the final answer is actually negative square root of 9 minus x squared over 9x. Plus c. That's it for this problem. This is Bahula SJ. Thank you very much.